And it's just a rough drop too because I don't have the black eyeliner. So we're going to go back in with like a black eyeliner and like a cream paint to like refine them. But basically, so draw like the bigger teeth up front and then the smaller teeth at the bottom. And make sure your pencil is sharpened. Yeah. And then for them to start looking at the teeth, do the triangle. Okay, so this eyeliner is being annoying. Okay, so the one I used in that photo was a Maybelline long lasting one, but I ran out of it. So I'm gonna have to go in with a cream paint. And this makes a big mess, so wish me luck. Okay, the black looks rough because we're gonna go back in with like glitters and like coloring the teeth. Okay, I know it doesn't look perfect. Okay, so you can go back in with a makeup wipe and fix up. Okay, so this is the best it's gonna get. I turn off the camera and I try to like fix it, but this is the best it's gonna get for now. But now I'm gonna be drawing the, sorry, it's like all smeared. I'm gonna fix it later. And I wiped these teeth off like a million times. I think all it is because it's supposed to look like a shadow and because I'm using cream paint. But this is like a good like idea. Like I fixed the nose and everything doesn't need to be perfect. I think the teeth when I put it on here because it's a rubber ass grease paint, it's wet, which is like the death of me.
so like we're almost done i have 12 minutes left on my camera so basically i'm just gonna like this is all done i'm just gonna touch it up i filled in all the teeth i am a rainbow skull yeah so i might just clean that up a little bit and like wipe but from forward i look like a skeleton a skeleton so i'm gonna fill these little squares in and i'll uh, use black eyeshadow to fill this in too so i'm gonna pick out three colors i want to fill in my beautiful beautiful bones right here so i think i'm first going to be taking the blue color excuse me so if you're doing what i'm doing take a blue or whatever you can use a white i'm making her a rainbow skull because i like to switch it up last night i did a pink one so i'm just going to be filling all of this in but there something like that yeah you can see and now i'm going to be taking the pink color and the red i think the red is gorgeous that's the orangey one so i'm gonna be like like in between these i'm gonna be painting myself all black set my eyes clean up and i'll be right back and i will show you guys what it looks like possibly with like a red wig i will do a how to put on a wig video next time but be right back okay guys hello many hours later so I shaded my neck. I didn't want to put the rubber mask grease paint here because it would get all over my hair and my wig. So in reality, I would use the paint here or like a gel eyeliner, but I can't find it at the moment. I paired it with this wig. I feel like I look like something the Muerto, Day of the Dead in the Mexican heritage. I'm Cuban, which is not my intent, but I want to, I want to be like a rainbow skull. So yeah, this is my attempt at it. Don't like that. I'm gonna practice how to do wigs again on my sister. That's like a whole nother video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a big old thumbs up. I think you guys have gotten the gist of it. More Halloween looks are coming at you. I really tried with this makeup look. So I filled in the excess rubber mask grease paints, like the little smears with like a skin color rubber mask grease paint. I got this wig last year for Jessica Rabbit because I was supposed to go out with my friends, but the plans canceled. So now, yeah, I want to expand my wig collection. I only have this wig and it's like an okay wig. Like I feel like it looks like a wig like in camera it looks pretty sick and then from far away i do look like a skeleton which is super super cool and thank god for my birthday my mom actually got me more batteries for my camera because that was oh i always said oh my camera's dying yeah not today not today so i would probably just use like a black dot on there no rubber mask grease paint's gonna get all of my hair and like it's gonna be gross and then i just paired it with a black shirt because i didn't want to extend my painting here but yeah guys i hope you like this video i hope it's very very easy Easy. it is it takes practice last year I've come a long way I think I, I showed you guys in the beginning Ooh. and then it's really cool I also saw somebody did like bone hands like if you're gonna do a photo shoot and you have your model or if you have someone photographing you you can like paint your hand into bones I thought that was really cool but maybe I'll do that next time but my boyfriend's coming in like an hour so I should probably get in the shower but yeah thank you so so much for watching I greatly appreciate it. Don't mind that. You can also pair it with this wig or whatever hairstyle you want. This is my rainbow skull look. I've never seen one like this before. It is super, super easy. Please check out my last videos. Also, I did a TikTok on this makeup look. Maybe I'll do another one because I'm busting those out. I'll probably do another one. So, do a thumbs up if you did. Go check out my TikTok. It's J Marie Princess. Um, my Instagram, my makeup Instagram. My, I don't really use Twitter, but you can follow me on my twitter my snapchat and yeah i love you guys so 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 much you can dress it up or down whatever you want this is just the main look you can even do like a skeleton corset or like a skeleton shirt whatever your heart desires yeah i love you guys so 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 much and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye